fragrances for Father's Day. Obviously, there are tons of fragrances out there. Some men wear fragrances and some do not. Those who do wear fragrances have a lot to choose from. So if you want to get your dad some fragrance of some kind, you might be wondering, what do I choose? Of course, you should uh, see if your dad has any preferences. But other than that, there are a few very solid options you can go for. And the first one I'm going to discuss is a pretty tried and true one, which is Dylan Blue from Versace. So this is a relatively modern fragrance, but it has some really delicious notes. Aquatic notes, some citrus notes, uh, black pepper, and then some tonka bean and mineral musk. In general, this is a very fresh, aromatic sort of fragrance, um, crisp. Very much what you would expect from your typical men's fragrance, you know, masculine, fresh, clean, sharp, all those things. So you really can't go wrong with that unless you, you know, it's just not uh, appealing um, to certain people. It might be too strong or too harsh or fresh. But in general, this is a pretty good choice. Overall, most men enjoy it. And... Uh, you know, it's a, it's a classic. So, in a similar vein, there is Invictus from Paco Rabanne. So, this is similar to Dylan Blue in the fact that it's that kind of fresh, sharp, clean, masculine scent. However, this is a little bit sweeter. I wouldn't say it's a sweet fragrance overall, but it is slightly sweeter. Not, like, Dylan Blue is more dry. It's like a dry white wine or something, but this is more uh, like you're going to the beach, more coastal, a uh, little bit more casual, and it's kind of like the newer version of Aqua Di Gio. Still has that nice, fresh, uh, herbal nature to it, but you know, it has a little twist. So the good thing is with this as well is that it's pretty long lasting. If I would say six hours. Um, of course, there are longer lasting options, but for this type of fragrance, which is a bit on the lighter side, more citrusy, about six hours is a really good um, time time frame for this. Now, if you want to get something that's way heavier and smokier, then you could definitely go for Dior Tobacco Color. Uh, from the name, you can guess that there is tobacco in this, and you would be correct. There's actually not only regular tobacco, but also white tobacco, so you get this kind of layered approach to that particular note. Tobacco, of course, is a very delicious, smoky, uh, heavy note with a little bit of kind of herbal nature to it. It also has some, I believe, a few fruit notes. I can't, I can't be for sure, but it, it balances its tobacco notes very nicely with slightly sweet, sweet notes. Um, and in general, it's a very, very kind of uh, almost mysterious sort of fragrance. Better for the evening, but it could definitely be worn in the daytime, uh, especially if it's cold out. You want, you know, something warm and heavy for uh, those those cold days. Uh, and it's just a very sophisticated fragrance for men. It's not a common type of male fragrance. Men uh, often, especially in this modern age of uh, perfume. Uh, most men's fragrances are very citrusy, very sharp, and very herbal, but tobacco color is a very a very much a departure from that with its more smoky notes, which is very nice for standing out from the crowd. Then, um, another kind of completely distinct note is Dior Homme. This is actually also from Dior as with tobacco color. So there are several variations of Dior Homme just with a few little differences. In general, Dior Homme is a very... Some would argue it's a unisex scent, I would argue it's a unisex scent, because it has a iris note, and that makes it a little bit sweeter, because it is a, a nice floral note. Some men might not like that, they might think it's too feminine, but the way I think it's balanced with the other notes makes it very fresh, very crisp, refreshing, and yet not as harsh as Dylan Blue or things like that. It has uh, more of a smoothness. I would say it's a more formal, slightly cold fragrance, but definitely crisp, very kind of a serious fragrance. So 
you could definitely tell it's luxury, it's sophisticated, it's just very different from what you would get from a typical uh, men's fragrance. Then, I don't actually have a, uh, I don't have a sample or bottle of this, Dracar Noir. Dracar Noir is a classic from the 1980s. Pretty much every man from the 80s wore Dracar Noir at some point. Extremely popular. A lot of people loved it. I would say it was probably the precursor or the original uh, Dylan Blue. It kind of has that same very sharp aromatic um, herbal nature. Very, you know, it has a unique presence and chances are if, you're, if your dad was young in the 80s, he probably had something to say about Dracar Noir. Maybe he even wore Dracar Noir. Um, but in general, it's a good choice to try. It's extremely classic. Even though it's not worn anymore because it's not supposedly popular anymore, it's still extremely delicious. It's a classic. And you can't really go wrong with it because, like I said, it's very similar to Dylan Blue, very similar even a little bit to Invictus. Um, it's just a slightly older fragrance, but it's still a very, very good one. And, best part, it's like $30 or around that versus, you know, these more expensive fragrances because they're just newer. So, that's also a good option if you don't want to break the bank. Um, and it smells good, of course. But, in general, those are my top picks for Father's Day fragrances. Uh, pretty much all of them are extremely versatile. You can wear them whenever no matter the temperature, no matter what time of the year it is, so uh, all very good to wear, you know, no no limitations. Um, other than that, that's all I have to say about Father's Day fragrances. Uh, if you have any opinions or recommendations um, for just fragrances in general, you can feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. If you liked the video, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.